Hello Prime Gooders, welcome back to Crime Gooding channel. I am Aditya Mishra. In today's video, there is a good news that Cognizant has extended to 28th of April with most of the people know and they start rolling out most of the technical assessment invitation. Yes, you might have written your communication round and waiting for the TA. Now, technical assessment is in your email address whichever has been registered okay so in this video i will be talking about how to check your cluster because there you can see that you have an email written but nowhere it is mentioned that which cluster you belongs to and yes cluster is a heartbreak is a heartbreak of uh of all of the candidate because people might be from c++ python will get some irrespective default clusters it may be java it may be uh, Python, irrespective of your favorite programming language. So do let me know in the comment section, are you one of them? Which one is the favorite one and what you got? Okay, because in the interview, your whole interview would be specific towards your cluster, not on your uh, favorite language. Because most of the interviewer will ask you to code in your cluster specific language and few of the interviewer will allow you to write the code in your favorite language. Okay, because these uh, cognizant, cognizant will ask coding question, SQL question in your interview for sure. But this is not an interview guidance. For interview, you should subscribe to the channel. I will be posting the video of a lot of video on interviews and many more things. Okay. So do cognizant send rejection mails to the people who don't receive the online assessment or I can say technical assessment emails. Okay. So most of the candidate, my DMs, my telegram was flooded with these kind of mails that yes, getting from cognizant, you're shortlisted for hiring technical assessment during uh, duration of same as 120 minutes. And you need to check your system because your test will going to happen on an MSP. You can't use any other software application if your MSB is running. So please check it once. Is that software is supporting your laptop or not? Otherwise, you need to borrow laptop from your friends. Clear? So perform the system compatibility check and click on start test button. So now you can see a poll in front of your screen which is 77% said that yes they got the OA which is a technical assessment link today only. So yes, right after coming from the office creating videos so that I can reach out to all of the candidates so that you can prepare for your upcoming exam. Okay, so many students have received their technical assessment exam mails but few have received not yet received. Okay, so you don't need to worry as the deadline has been extended to 28th of April. So you can uh, expect right after this date or any time in your May, high chances that in May you will be having your cognizant uh, online assessment, communication or technical assessment mail right there. So you don't need to get demotivated because this uh, selection is not based on resume. Okay, everyone who is eligible, who don't have backlogs, who have good history, they will get the OA link for sure. Okay. So as you can see, 28th of April, that is extended to 28th of April, 11.59. So if you have not uh, applied or if any of your friend missing out this wonderful opportunity, please force him to apply because you should have opportunity right after coming from your college. Otherwise, it will be very hard to get opportunity in off campus. So remaining students can still apply for this opportunity if you have missed this wonderful opportunity, which was one of the primary reason why Cognizant took long time to release the mails out for next round because recently Cognizant took the interviews for 2024 batch and right after that, this hosted 2025 batch online assessment and and the follow-up interview. So yes, till May, June, it will gonna happen. Like interviews will go on, go on, go on. And all of the interviews would be offline. Offline, but online. So most of the things will be covered on the channel. What kind of interview questions has already been uploaded in most of the videos. You can just go and watch those. I will pin down on the i button or you can see in the description below. So how to check your cluster, which is one of the biggest questions. For that, you might have received this particular mail, which states you to click on start test button. Or I can say start test so that you can check or you can appear for your communication round or test round okay so when you click it you will get some interface like this okay phase 3 tech cl1 what is cl1 this is cluster 1 cluster 2 cluster 3 so yes uh i am messing out with the few of the sequence but yes cluster 1 for i believe for java cluster 2 for python cluster 3 for c sharp or java python up down would be there so you can check in their registration form what is the specific cluster or i will let you know in the comment section or most of you will be knowing it let uh, comment down below so that I can pin it so that most of the people can see what is CL1 stands for, CL2 stands for, CL3 stands for. But yes, CL stands for cluster. 
okay so yes click on start button and get to know about your cluster so important points you should make into your mind which is install msb software and i will highly recommend that before your exam like 30 minutes before your exam install it and see how the software do work okay so a uh, sample assessment to ensure compatibility of the device and familiarize with text environment because it is necessary otherwise it will be very hard i already made, uploaded many communication videos and tons of things which will give you a vibe that what kind of questions you can expect in your online assessment ensure that anti uh, virus process in your system is disabled because all of your system access will have will be given to msb and msb will be holding all of the os operations so that you can't run any other operation in a single laptop that's why you need to disable this antivirus otherwise you won't be able to give examination okay so yes most of the things has been mentioned in properly so please 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 check this out and yeah uh, do and don'ts are also valuable here which is take an assessment on desktop or laptop equipped with a working webcam because most of the people are not having the working webcam you need to click your picture right there when you are attempting the test and it is required that you need to show your Aadhaar card and your ID card, anything. That's why you should have a good quality webcam. Otherwise, it will say your face is not detected, invalid data, this kind of things. Okay. So, yes, please make sure that you have. So, don't click F5 because it will minimize the screen. Eventually, your exam is happening on the Chrome itself. So, if you click on F5, your exam will be terminated. You will get warning. Okay. So do not skip question before answering them completely as you won't be able to attempt them again. This is a beauty of Cognizant that they already spoke about this. Otherwise, other company will not tell you that whether you can skip this question, go back to the previous question and stuff. Okay. Cover the webcam at no point during the assessment and move out from the computer light to a webcam range. Otherwise, you will be removed using chat gpt at any hiring round is not uh, it's prohibited so don't do it although questions would be very easy you can see the game based aptitude which i already put which is one short video you will get a whole vibe that what kind of questions you can expect in your game based aptitude section okay so it has quantitative aptitude and gamified aptitude just 80 minutes of session you need to spend and you can nail it. All the questions of aptitude would be very, very, very easy. And you can join my telegram group because there are tons of questions has been coming up, coming up, coming up. You can just watch and see what type of question it is. Okay. So round two, which is a technical assessment where you have, uh, see, this is cluster one, which is Java. This is cluster two. Uh, this is cluster two. You can see cluster one is Java, cluster two is Python, and cluster three is C sharp. Okay. So yes, now I hope you got the meaning of C L one, two, three. Great. So duration one twenty minutes, three sections. You can see these are the topics where you can expect your questions and and yes, these are the topics are also important for all your interview as well. I already created hundred percent success rate in interview. I will pin that video in the i button above. You can see anywhere or you can go to the description you will see the thumbnail of it go and watch that if you got short essay for interview that video will help you also to crack it okay so cluster the same sense all of these are imp important for your technical assessment as well as for your interview so don't miss any of the topics so these are the few important thumbnails that i want to show you so that you can watch the best possible video available on the internet these are the best videos which covers all the actual coding questions mcq sql queries as well as actual co coding questions solutions as well as coding solutions were asked in cognizant okay so i have a podcast which uh with uh with this guy he is totally fantastic he cracked gen c profile you can go and watch and see how he cracked what his experiences are all about because i remember that interviewer asked him to tell about pig <laughs> okay so you can go and watch it and yes this is an interview questions you can expect like previous year interview questions with solutions okay so yes please 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 head on to whatever i said everything would be in the description below and i will recommend you to have mock interview because you can prepare tons of things right there but if you are not able to speak you are not able to crack any profile so don't miss this particular opportunity have the mock interview with prime coding and i bet you if our expert said that yes you will crack it then no one will stop you to crack for having mock interview you just need to go on www.primecoding.in it would be in the description just click it go on mock interview have it and prove our mentor that you are the best fit for cognizant profile okay so this is from my side if you're still watching please consider subscribing it like this video share with your friends so that it will motivate me and i will create or uh, build tons of videos for all of you for free okay so we'll meet you with a new video soon